unless we have these news courtesy of Hype Beast concerning Dr. Martin's tapping Blondie McCoy to launch a updated Adrian Snaffle loafers. Now, I don't mind the loafers. I think they look pretty decent and pretty cool. But if ever there was a shoot or an editorial that just screamed, look at me, look at me, look at me, it'd be this. It's just a bit corny, isn't it? Like from the fucking spirited away dog to the whatever outfit that is to the shoes themselves. It's just a little bit pretentious and a little bit up your own ass, isn't it? I'm not really too big fan of like you know what I mean who who sits at a cafe near the window eating a couple of croissants and some whatever those little things are and some bread wearing a flipping leopard jumper you know in the middle of spring with some yellow loafers on if you don't want attention do you know what I mean it's just a little bit pretentious a little bit too much but I do like the loafer itself um um I don't think it's something he designed. It looks like they maybe used him as a model to kind of prop them out there, which is a good idea. If you're going to go and kind of debut a model and make them uh, pop, maybe you're going to try and align them with somebody that you basically designed them in mind with. And it's essentially looks like a classic, you know, what loafer they already have, Dr. Martin's in their arsenal, but they've updated it somewhat. You've got the front of the top box, looks a little bit more sleeker. Um, it kind of, it's, it reminds me a little bit more of a, what are they what are the ones I've got the GHB Basun Wujin whatever loafers in terms of the overall silhouette with just the Dr. Martin soul so you've still got that um, chunky utilitarian whatever appeal with the outsole but then you've got a very sleek upper maybe as well what they've maybe done is maybe updated the fit so they don't hurt your feet as much so if you are somebody who just wants to wear a casual pair of loafers and kind of freak yourself um, for the weekend and you know and impress all the honeys on Shoreditch High Street you can put these on without your feet bleeding you know what I mean or without you crying into an off license for some plasters so that might be a good result and absolute the, com the, the composition of this picture is pretty cool itself do you know what I mean with the with the old breakfast here that no one's clearly eaten as well going on there but it is a bit look at me it is a bit pretentious it is a bit cringe I'm not going to lie you know of course he's got a fucking England tattoo on his side Jesus Christ just absolute wild out of material in it proper wild out of material but i do like them i'm not going to lie i like the shoe um i hate the shoe i don't, I don't say i hate the shoe i dislike the shoe i think the shoe's a little bit up its own ass but i think if you do if you are trying to debut such a new model and get kids to get excited for them and you you've got a certain kid that you want in mind for them then maybe this is the case what's that a raw hemp dog dog lead as well like that's when you know you're real, real, really up there in terms of hipster, hipster pretentiousness, right? When you start carrying around your spirit away dog in a flipping um, raw hemp something, dog leads or something. I, I don't know. Is it hemp? Is it rope? I don't know what it is, but just buy a dog leash and it, it's not that difficult. But uh, <laughs> that aside, I like them. I think they look pretty sick, pretty decent. I'd absolutely wear the hell out of them. Will they bleed or will they make my feet bleed? Will I go home crippled? Probably. But let's see what they said in the article itself. Dr. Martin has given a look at this updated Adrian Snaffle Loafers, partnering with UK. Blah, blah, blah. The editorial shows a blondie on the streets of Paris, including eating his breakfast and walking a dog, all while, eat, all while wearing four new colours of the loafer, as well as sporting a gold Snaffle bar. The Adrian also features a kit. What's that? A kilt fringe with the same textile the color of the shoe itself the silhouette is part of dr martin's archive collaboration sorry archive collection and has been resurrected in a premium suede and construction with four colorways ranging from understated black to summer ready pops of color such as tan plum and turquoise so yeah more information coming soon of the adrian silhouette is now the blunder uh the campaign at the event was that additionally the label will showcase the campaign at an event in paris on june 24th okay so i guess during menswear paris men's fashion week they're going to be debuting it as well so there'll probably be some sort of event there djs playing people band playing and shit but i'm guessing they're available now to buy or not let's see can you actually buy these now at the moment oh except oh let's see what they say here yes come on man continue let me just see the shoes can you shop them? Can you buy them? Or I have to just keep staring at this guy's mug eating sandwiches. Uh, snaffle loafers and suede. Let's see. Yeah, you can. You can actually purchase them. And they are £150, right? It seems like. You can't even stretch it that way. Is it 150 Yeah, 159 it looks like. 159 All sizes seem to be available at the moment. So they haven't been maybe as successful as they maybe have hoped. 
um, the black colorway looks pretty decent but if I'd have to go maybe I'd go for the that turquoisey or that yellow colorway is probably the standout ones in it you're obviously not wearing them like that that's fucking nuts but okay the the turquoise seems to be the, the standout color everyone's buying because they've sold out in pretty decent sizes on those ones let's look at the yellows are the yellows doing any well yellows probably no one's really touched them for that regard but yeah I like them. I just think they look pretty decent. Yeah, but definitely go for the turquoise or the yellow in terms of colours, in terms of sizes. But they look pretty sick. So check those out if you are inclined. If you are inclined.